I have to ask, what are a few of the top supplier and supply chain capabilities you as business leaders uh, see as the prioritized need and evolved business requirement for sourcing transformation? And we'll maybe we'll continue on with you, Mariam. Sure. I think, um, you know, we, pri we prioritize certain suppliers, um, you know, definitely they can meet, um, you know, our, our business requirements for sourcing transformation. And I think we look for um, certain, you know, capabilities. And I think there's few, and I think everybody would agree, but the first one I would say is collaboration and partnership. Um, I think we look for suppliers that have, you know, strong collaboration and partnership essential right in transforming our you know our sourcing uh strategies we seek suppliers who really work you know uh, are willing to work with us share information you know collaborate on innovation and continuous improvement and i think that approach you know collaboration truly foster trust um and drive you know mutual success um, i would say the uh the second one is but um Technology integration. Uh, we look for uh, suppliers that have integrated um, solutions, and by that, what it mean, what I mean is, you know, leveraging digital platform or data analytics or automation tools to streamline your know, processes, improve efficiencies, you know, enhance visibility, but also ensuring that you know these technology suppliers are integrating their technologies and using you know ai or iot in order to provide and help us right with valuable insights and you know enable predictive analytics uh you know for better decision making so you know there are there are you know there are few and i would say the last one is we really prioritize supplier with uh, that focus on sustainability and ethical practices i think with everything going on right now it's you know we really focus on prioritizing those suppliers that demonstrate true commitment to sustainability and ethical practices right and and we know what are these right so ensuring that they adhere to environmental regulations responsible sourcing fair labor practices right and social responsibility i think those are you know what suppliers that have strong credentials in these areas those are the ones that we really value in our organization all right, great. Joseph, um, would you like to answer? Yeah, absolutely. When you think about this, okay, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm looking at it from the C-suite perspective, cost, cost income ratios are really critical to get under control, right? So, you know, your cost income ratio is going to be a direct impact on your earnings per share. And we know that the impact of inflation and the geopolitical pressures that we're having are really kind of making this one of the key things. So cost optimization has and will continue to be a focus. I agree with some of the other panelists when we talk about third-party risk management and supplier resilience, right? So having that ability uh, to get our suppliers to withstand the disruptions and to continue to provide goods and services is crucial for us, ultimately for our, for our downstream customers, right? Um, you know, uh, I would also say that uh, responsible sourcing, you know, uh, you know is, is critical. And ethical and sustainable sourcing practices are becoming increasingly important. We're seeing um, that it's not just lip service around ESG. We're seeing that this is really something that, in each whether it, whether it's environmental, whether it's um, you know social or governance, we see that as something that is really t taking off. And as the other panelists have previously talked about, you know, digitization is is, is an area that there is obviously a key uh, investment in and it's essential really to kind of help uh, manage our supplier risk uh, to, to, to really look at how do we actually address on a post-pandemic basis what it is that we're, that we're driving to and, and trying to have. Now, I also think that we're starting to see as a priority kind of what, what I would call, uh, you know, unified core data, okay? And this is really important because we've got to establish across that ecosystem very much like a Rubik's Cube You've got to be able to make sure that you can make informed decisions and speed to insight is critical and you can't do that unless you have a shared knowledge or a common data set that's going to enable you to be able to make those decisions rapidly. So I think I think having the right taxonomy, having the right tools so that you're able to actually get to that insight very quickly is important. Which you know brings us to you know, how do we have that continuous flow of information between finance or internal customers, 
our suppliers so that we can really enhance and improve on our procurement planning, right? And so I also think that, you know, we've been on a journey for, for a decade now of, of, of digital acceleration. We keep talking about that. We're starting to see that this is happening, but what, what I think is important is that you actually start to see how you can put the workflows in place that are going to allow you to have a better experience for your end user, but at the same time controlling the risk associated with, with your uh, suppliers and your supply base. So, you know, having that improved collaboration with your suppliers, you know, and making sure that you have the right network in place uh, and, and really starting to leverage the opportunities because as I look at it, we're starting to see an evolution away from globalization towards regionalization. We're starting to see trading blocks that are kind of coming up. And these are all very important things for us to think about, not just for the procurement talent, but looking at it from, from, from a C-suite perspective, right? So I really think that, that you know, the, these capabilities are, are helping us to evolve our, our business requirements. This is helping us to rethink how sourcing is actually you know, changing. Uh, and, you know, think about this, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, you couldn't get a degree in supply chain. Now you can get a PhD in it. And so all of this is helping us to actually, I think, become much more sophisticated and, you know, allowing us to leverage the tools, whether that's our large language models, whether that's you know, just you know, AI and ML. But all of this is, I think, helping us to, to really put in place uh, an ecosystem that's going to enable us to be much more consistent in terms of the way we're managing risk, cost, and uh, helping the flow of information across our across our organizations. Great. Thank you. Um, Prasad, would you like to follow up with anything um, on that question? No, I think great points uh, covered by all. I think the one thing I think uh, to add to, to what Joseph said, I think the the maturity of the industry, I think outsourcing, it's been there now for quite some time. And whether you're outsourcing to a company across the, the city or across all the way up in, in, in the other side of the world, uh, companies need to understand uh, the risk associated with this uh, and engage the vendors properly. So I, I think the, 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 the good suppliers move up the, the food chain, right? Like they all start with maybe some tactical work, but, uh, but the good ones move up to become strategic partners. Uh, but the same, same, same way, uh, some of the, the, the simple items like competitive pricing, usage of tools or accelerators for productivity, secure operations, uh, all these uh, have become like a table, a stable, table stakes nowadays, I think for majority of supplies. You, you start your relationship there. But then you move up uh, the, the next level. So, so the, the good suppliers will actually work with you on not only building um, your business plan, but also help you implement that. And so I, I think to become integral part of a business, suppliers need to bring in some tools, mature processes uh, to the table. So I think that's how uh, they can really differentiate themselves and become uh, transformation partners. Great. Thank you, Prasad.